Let's go, Alex. You got this. Keep it up. Okay, all you hard asses. Today we're gonna talk about our feelings. So grab your tissue boxes because it's okay to cry once in a while. Um, look at this. Psycho Cross. It's a great A pun. Just perfect pun. Uh, because we're gonna talk about some of the mental aspects to cross racing. Basically, going over um, things that you can control. Uh, to help out your psychological game and then things and you know basically how to accept things that are out of your control one of which is being defeatist you know your life sucks this race sucks everything sucks which um you know it probably does but uh you, you could also take it as a constructive positive manner blah 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 and that's probably what you should be doing so some of the things that are in your control uh Pre-race is probably the most important thing uh, for your during-the-race mental, uh, psychological health. Um, so getting into a routine, finding a routine that you like to do over and over can really help. Getting proper sleep uh, so that you're not super tired, that can help. Uh, obviously nutrition, so eat a good meal before a race. Uh, listening to music. Uh, I listen to metal music. Hail Satan. Uh, just kidding. Anyways, uh, something that gets you in the zone, right? Um, proper gear, so you can see this guy on the left taking his jacket off because it's really cold. And the race organizers are like, fuck you in particular. Uh, we're going to just not give you a countdown. We're going to start it off. Here you go. Ha 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 in your face. So, pretty poor start to this race. But one of those things you can do pre race is. Um, dress for the weather uh, if it's cold wear, wear some nice warm clothes so that you're not freezing your balls off and uh, yeah that's one way you can sort of help the uh, mental side of your game because if you're really cold during a race and wet and miserable it's just not gonna be as fun you're not gonna do as you're not gonna do as well um, the other thing you can do pre-race is uh, just take a look at the race predictor online. Uh, see who your field is. Um, if you know some of the guys, if you know some heavy hitters are coming out, uh, just get psyched up because you're you're hungry. You know, you got to be hungry. You got to want to win. Uh, and that's uh, how this race went. And I wasn't in front, so of course something gets stopped up here. This guy's about to crash. Ready? Bam nuts right into his stem that uh that had to hurt um so anyways i wasn't in the front where i needed to be or where you should be so that this doesn't happen i got really pissed i said oh fuck uh so i got i think i got really pissed by the downhill portion up here and i just go as hard as i can to to pass a couple guys um right here i'm just like you know what i just gotta go all out or i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do all that well this race so Again, uh, pre-race, you know, you know, you can look and, and see who your competition is if you know some of the big names. That might help you out a little bit. Uh, but then there's always going to be things during the race that, that psych you out. So right here, I cross these barriers, and when I jump back on, bam, my tire comes off of my wheel. Uh, these are tubulars, and they're glued pretty darn well. Um, but, uh, unfortunately... Uh, you can't uh, fix everything, right? You can't predict everything. So, again, some of the pre-race stuff you can do is make sure all your gear is perfect. Uh, I thought my wheel was pretty well, or my tire was pretty well glued, but um, if, you're, if you're confident in your gear, you can, you can have a much more confident race. Uh, everything's greased up, everything, you know, the chain is lubed, um, you know, just everything is working functionally well. That can help you in a race so that you're not doing this thing where I'm rolling my tire back on my wheel, having pat guys pass me, and then thinking about it the rest of the race, right? Uh, what happens here is you can see my shadow. I'm looking down right here, and I'm like, oh, fuck. And I'm still looking down. I'm like, I, I'm a little nervous to make some turns. Uh, and just it just weighs on you the rest of the entire, entire race. is like, man, am I going to crash again uh, off of this or what? Um... The other thing you can do is play a mental game. Frame 
certain situations that uh, maybe are not your your strongest aspects of racing, right? So in this case, uh, there's a long hill on the back side of the course, and there's guys passing me left and right here. Uh, I'm not that great at hills. I'm a bigger guy. But you can frame it in terms of going really hard on other sections so that when you get to this part, you can let up a little bit. There can be some guys that pass you, but then you catch back up. So just framing certain things to, to your strengths, uh, that can help as well. Here, my, my tire comes off again first lap. I s just punched it back on, I think, what is what happened. I was swearing like a sailor and punched it back on, and it, it worked again. Uh, so again, framing things about towards uh, what your strengths are. This downhill section could be really, really fast, uh, so that by the time you hit this little thing, you could basically wipe out um, if you're going too fast. Uh, but I am pretty, pretty good at, at going downhill, so... Um, I was pretty happy with that, and I, I used that strength to, to my advantage. Um, another thing that happened, this guy on the green bike, um, it was a lot of cat and mouse. I pass him, he passes me, I pass him. So it was this fun little game, so to say, uh, back and forth between uh, riders. That's another way you can th frame things. Um, there's a group ahead of you, I need to catch this group, right? You can think about small, intermediate goals. Not, I'm going to race and I'm going to win. But, hey, I'm going to pass this guy on the green bike again, and then I'm going to get ahead of this small group ahead of me. Or you can think about it like, hey, there's a guy ahead of me like this, and, oh, man, I'm getting swarmed. But I can use that to my advantage, maybe get into his draft at some point, and use that to catch the guys ahead of you. Uh, I do that a lot in these cross races. I say, oh, there's a small group ahead like these guys. I need to catch them. Um, hey, yeah, maybe I'm getting passed by this guy on the left, but I can use his draft uh, for this headwind, strong headwind section, uh, to get me there, right? The other thing that happens is, uh, some people you know, and some friends and family can come out. Uh, Emil and Alyssa were there, uh, screaming, go Alex, uh, which, you know, it's kind of a, uh, a, a simple thing, an easy thing to do as a spectator and a fan, and, uh, it just means a lot, uh, to the riders, right? So, somebody's, uh, encouraged me, someone's watching me race, um, okay, let's pass this guy, let's go hard, um, you know, so, you know, be positive. Even when guys like this pass me, um, you know, earlier in the race, somebody was like, good job, nice pass. Uh, it just, it helps, uh, helps your mental, mental game. And then at the very end, you can just say, hey, I'm going to go all out for the sprint, even though uh, you may not get it, and I didn't get it here. So hopefully those are some things that can help you on the psychological side. Um, let me know what you think and what you do. Um, to get better at racing on the psychological end of things. Thanks for listening.